<laughs> How close are me and Lady Essex? Well, um, just as close as a human and an animal could ever be. I grew up on a circus. Lady Essex became a part of our family before I was born. She's an Asian elephant. She almost weighs 10,000 pounds. Caring for her, it's a full-time, everyday job. So I get up, I have my coffee and take it straight to her. We go for a big, long walk, and then depending on the weather, she'll have a bath, she'll drink water, I'll feed her. And then throughout the day, you just do the same kind of things, where you go out and you feed her periodically through the day, or we'll do certain things like, I'll teach her new tricks like throwing a ball or kicking a ball or she'll play fetch with my dog, you know, and just keeping her interactive and, you know, stimulated as much as I can. <laughs> so elephants have over 40,000 muscles in their trunk alone. You know, that's more than the human body. Um, and they can drink up to like 60 gallons of water in one sitting. You want to, you want to. That's also um, something a lot of people don't know. They see them drink with their nose and they think that they drink through their nose and they don't. They just suck it up in their nose and then spit it into their mouth. I've spent literally almost every day of my life with her since I was born. I know things about her that I really couldn't even put into words. It's more of like a feeling. I have to admit, she has a very special personality, and I think that's because she's a family elephant. Um, she's been with a family, my family, her entire life, you know, so it's given her a comfort and a security to develop into having such a character. Pick me up. Pick me up. <laughs> Is one of the reasons, again, why I advocate for, uh, advocate for private ownership of animals, you know. When a family can own an elephant, they can put this elephant's needs first, you know. I got it. You are the best. Salute. Salute. Hold it, good girl. Oh, I've been attacked by many, many animal rights activists. First foot down. I think one of people's biggest misconceptions about animal welfare is that they think that certain animals can only be happy with a certain lifestyle. Feet. Like take an exotic animal like an elephant, they think. Nice. Job. that animals can only be happy like that in the wild and they can't understand that animals can be happy in all different kinds of settings. Sit up, sit up, lift those feet high, lift them high. Sit up, good girl. In all industries, I think no matter what you do in on all walks of life, in all industries, people abuse power, people ab abuse things, but when you come to a whole, the majority of all circuses take very, very good care of their elephants or their animals in general because we have guidelines, we have regulations, we have inspections, we have to take care of our animals. So in um, hands-on human care, she can live to be 60 to 70. You know, they're not really seeing that age in the wild at all. Come here. And so when you have um, mental stimulation and physical stimulation, I feel like that helps you to live longer. I need you to come and help me wash her. I need you to get the broom. Steady, steady. I, I, I wouldn't say there's any danger with my son being around her as long as it's always supervised. I know that as long as he's with me, that, that, that child is safer with my elephant than he would be in a car. Steady. Steady. I let him feed her and sometimes he helps me wash her and he was in the show with her when he was two. I like how good she is with respecting her family. Let's go. I always loved the bat and the head. Pressure washer helps to get the old skin off. It's one of the best methods to do so because you can scrub on them a lot and it won't actually get the old skin off. So, I mean, you can see how healthy her skin is because of it. Drop it. 
Good, good job, good job. My main message is, is that I want to make sure that we stay integrated with animals and we keep an animal-human bond alive. All right, old man, don't hurt yourself. Because with the overpopulation of humans, the only way certain species are gonna continue is if we reach out and we actually help them. Come here, come here. Good girl. Good, oh, thank you. Come here. Thank you, you're so smart and pretty and so good at making me look like a fool. You're just the bestest elephant in the world.